Hi everybody, I'm Jim with opensource.com and I have a brand new top five articles of the week for you today, September 9th. Let's get started at number one, 10 reasons to use Flowblade on Linux as your video editor. Seth Kenlon tells us that two of Flowblade's best qualities are simplicity and that it's lightweight, which is rare for a video editor application. Check out the other eight reasons creatives should give this tool a look in the article. At number four, three alternatives to Nero for Linux, CD, and DVD burning. Do you still use CDs, DVDs, or other physical media? Perhaps you do. Maybe you're looking for an application to help you create new disks. Jason Baker tells us how these open source tools can help. At number three, how Google created a new kind of open source program office. Many companies have created this open source program office, but Google stands out for its efforts. John Mark Walker explains. At number two, keeping DOS alive and kicking with open source. Jason Baker tells us about FreeDOS, the open source disk operating system, and where the project is headed in this, its next release in this interview with the project's creator. And finally, at number one, look ma, no hardware, coding the Raspberry Pi in a web emulator. Ben Nuttall shows us how to code the Sense Hat for Raspberry Pi in an emulator in your web browser without any hardware. That's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.